Hey everyone and welcome to this channel. Here we talk about some interesting music facts, composers, musical instruments and even crazy theories. Don't forget to check other videos, you can also find lots of other stuff like violin tutorials, covers and even originals. I also have lots of free violin scores and those that you can purchase for only one dollar. Plus you can also check my ebook collection of scores for 2022-2023. Check the links below and don't forget to comment. Let's begin! Why oboe for tuning? Ever wondered why orchestras tune to the oboe? Let's uncover the historical and acoustic reasons behind this tradition. Tuning to the oboe is a tradition that dates back centuries and has both historical and practical reasons behind it. But first, why do we need tuning? Because orchestras typically tune to a specific pitch standard, such as A440, where the A above middle C is tuned to 440 Hz. This pitch standard helps ensure compatibility and consistency across different musical contexts. The oboe serves as the reference instrument for establishing this pitch standard during tuning. The historical significance of tuning to the oboe is going back to the development of Western classical music and the evolution of orchestral instrumentation. The oboe appeared as a prominent instrument during the Baroque period around 1600 till 1750. Composers such as Johann Sebastian Bach, George Friedrich Handel and Antonio Vivaldi prominently featured the oboe in their compositions. At that time, oboe was often used in outdoor performances, church settings and court orchestras due to its specific specific sound and versatility across different musical genres. Moreover, as orchestras began to form and grow during the Baroque era, the need for standardization and coordination among musicians became increasingly important. The oboe's distinctive sound made it a natural choice for leading ensembles and setting the tuning standard. In early orchestras, the concertmeister, or the leader of the first violin section, often played a crucial role in tuning the ensemble. However, as orchestras expanded and became more complex, the use of a single instrument as a tuning reference became more practical. The oboe, with its stable pitch and projection, emerged as the instrument of choice for this purpose. While the oboe became the standard tuning instrument in many Western orchestras, different cultures and regions had their own tuning practices. For example, some orchestras in France historically tuned to the A440 pitch standard using the flute rather than the oboe. However, the use of the oboe as a tuning reference became increasingly widespread across Europe and eventually globally. Despite changes in musical tastes, advancements in technology and shifts in performance practices, the tradition of tuning to the oboe has endured. Today, orchestras around the world still rely on the oboe as a primary tuning instrument, highlighting its enduring historical significance in Western classical music. Now let's talk about technical details. The stability of pitch in the oboe is one of its most notable characteristics, making it an ideal instrument for tuning purposes in orchestral settings. There are several factors that contribute to the oboe's stable pitch. First of all, its design and construction. The oboe is a double reed woodwind instrument with a conical bore. Its design and construction provide the stability of its pitch. Unlike instruments such as brass or strings, which can be affected by factors like temperature and humidity, the oboe's wooden body and reed are less sensitive to these environmental changes. The next thing is double reed. The oboe's double reed consists of two pieces of cane bound together, which vibrate against each other when air is blown through them. This double reed design provides a consistent and stable sound production, minimizing fluctuations in pitch. Here we should speak about tuning mechanisms. Oboes are equipped with various tuning mechanisms, such as the ability to adjust the length of the reed or manipulate the position of keys to fine-tune the instrument's pitch. Professional oboists often spend significant time and effort perfecting their instrument's intonation to ensure its stability. Plus, unlike some other instruments such as brass or strings, the oboe's pitch is less affected by physical changes in the instrument, such as wear and tear or aging. With proper maintenance and care, an oboe can maintain its stable pitch over an extended period. What about the embouchure? The embouchure, or the way that oboes shapes their mouth and lips around the reed, plays a crucial role in producing a stable pitch. Skilled oboes develop a consistent embouchure technique through practice and experience, which helps maintain the stability of the instrument's pitch across different musical passages and dynamics. The oboe sound allows it to cut through the ensemble and be heard by the musicians. 
This ensures that the oboe speech serves as a clear and reliable reference point for tuning purposes, even in large orchestral settings. For the oboe, its tessitura typically lies in the upper register of the instrument, where it can produce a clear and focused sound. This range is well suited for tuning purposes because it allows the oboe to stand out above other instruments in the ensemble. In orchestral settings where multiple instruments are playing simultaneously, it's crucial for the tuning reference instrument to be heard clearly by all musicians. The oboe's ability to cut through the ensemble ensures that its pitch serves as a reliable reference point for tuning. That's why it makes it easy for musicians to identify and adjust their pitches accordingly. I should mention that professional oboists undergo extensive training to develop their skills in intonation and tuning. They are responsible for providing a clear and stable reference pitch for the ensemble, reinforcing the standardization of tuning to the oboe. But while the tradition of tuning to the oboe remains strong, technological advancements have introduced electronic tuning devices and apps that offer alternative tuning references. However, the oboe continues to hold a central place in the orchestral tuning practices due to its historical significance, stability of pitch, and suitability for ensemble settings. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments what topic we can do next. Thank you and subscribe. Ciao!